Hello, welcome to Mauritius. I am Sam Eaton, joined by Jack Shepard. This is the African crap of nations. Today we have Cape Verde taking on Comoros in what is a must-win game for Comoros. Cape Verde can get out of it with a draw, but you don't want to play for one, do you, Jack? No, you don't, and winner basically goes through in this one. Yeah, they do. After the earlier game between uh, Sudan and South Sudan, South Sudan on the magic four points, or what appears to be the magic four points, or it could well be, and uh, Comoros going to need to certainly um, to win this one, but it's going to be a task asking them to beat Cape Verde, because Cape Verde, for me, one of the top teams, if not the best team in the competition at this moment in time. Yep, and a draw would not be good enough, actually, for Comoros here. Cape, that would send Cape Verde through. Yeah, so Cape Verde need to, Cape Verde need to do. Is it? Am I right in thinking Cape Verde need to not lose by more than two goals and they'll be through? But if they lose yep. by more than two goals, they will be out. Comoros can go through. Cape Verde can go through. And South Sudan still alive. If Comoros win one nil, that sends South Sudan home. Or does it? A one nil win of Comoros sends both these teams through. Two nil the Comoros should not Cape Verde out, but we have to work that one out because that would tie. Cape Verde and South Sudan on goal difference. Either way, it's going to be a big one. I can't see it being KG, which it could well be. I think both sides will go for it. Yep, certainly. Um, because again, you know, even for Cape Verde, they know they can draw, but they want to go out and win this group, take that momentum through the knockout rounds where they're going to face a good side in either Mauritius or Rwanda, depending on which one they face. So, um, certainly going to be a good one, isn't it? Well, it's going to be a great one, this one. Cape Verde at the Jamaican Commonwealth Stadium. Still a bit of rain in the air from the thunderstorm that we've been having here in Mauritius. Hopefully that's gone by tomorrow. Yeah, it's been awful conditions today, but the grass needs it, doesn't it? It, it certainly it, does. Keeps it green. It does. It keeps it nice and green. Keeps the atmosphere it. is electric today, actually. Yeah, a lot better than it was earlier, I think. I think just because of the political tensions in Sudan and South Sudan, maybe not as many fans getting over, but Comoros and uh, Cape Verde certainly seem to be a... Uh, I mean, look at the atmosphere. Them fans dancing before the kick. They're alive, the lively. So Zilui makes his way back into the squad for this game after having a terrible first game and getting dropped and the rest this of the team. This could be the game he needs, though, this. This could certainly. be the one he needs, especially if it's a must-win game for them. Um... It's his last chance, isn't it, anyway? I think it is, because they've got Heldon on the bench as well, who can still come in and do well. Um, Comoros. Clinton yeah. Matter plays, 38 years of age, um, still doing it. And then you've got Ibu Roy up front, who, for me, one of the better forwards in this competition, if he can get himself performing well. Um, looking forward to this one. Score prediction by yourself? Um, I think Cape Verde will take it. I can't see them putting any less than three goals in in this one. I'm going to go 3-1 to Cape Verde. I think it'll be a solid win for them. I'm going to say maybe 2-0 to Comoros and see what happens in the group then. See what this work that out. That could well be a, um, a shocker and it would certainly put a spanner in the works. It would indeed. Here we go. Cape Verde in the blue getting us underway. Cape Verde kicking from left to right. Comoros from right to left. You might not be able to notice the Comoros players because they may be blending in to the pitch. And here is Montero. The man we were calling Jefferson Montero but I highly doubt that is his name. Um... But still, here are Comoros on the attack. And here is Abu Roy, the man I mentioned, getting kicked there. But Early free kick. Yeah, a bit of a soft one, that one. But nice to see the referees actually saying, you know, I know this is going to be a tense affair. You can't, just can't go around booting people. And he does, well, he does clip it. Left a leg in, didn't he? Yeah. He did. I think he won the ball there. But still, you have to, you have to give that one um, a booking. And Jimmy Abdu. Not a bad effort. It wasn't the worst free kick I've ever seen, actually. Um, well, it wasn't that bad actually from Jimmy Abdu but not on target he wanted to be testing the goalkeeper and a little bit far out I think to actually have a major test of the keeper and here is Gary Rodriguez and I will say it the man who plays his football in Spain as James so often tells us the Hatafe man had a very good season this year and he's being cladded there and Zilui oh. Zilui hits the crossbar and that man cannot find the net <laughs> Not for anything, I tell you what. Who is he, Louis? I'm starting to feel sorry for him. It's not, I, I think there's nothing he can really do it unless... He's getting into great positions. And he's getting the chance. I mean, that's what worries you first for the strikers, isn't it? If they don't get those chances, but he has been getting them. He's, he's even been taking them pretty well. He, I know, it's just been unfortunate. I mean, he's tried two audacious chips in the first game, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Um, 
And then he's been foiled by Julio Perez. Oh, and he's hit the bar. bar. And this game starting electric and the fans are absolutely loving it here well the bar hadn't stopped shaking from the last effort it was and I reckon that one was in actually if the bar wasn't shaking because that bar's being extended a little bit um, oh Cape Verde are all over here like a rash they are Cape Verde all over yes, Comoros Al Hador who wins it back wonder what he's actually going to do with it now Al Hador still has it and he tries to go into Wibu Roy but can't get anything going and there you go, that's a, an effort, but it's blocked and it's not far out. Oh, and, well. oh my word. He saw the headlines, didn't he? The spectacular turns into the spectacularly bad. <laughs> it was a shocker, that one there from Selawani. Vagina? Vagina. And that was, that was worrying, risky. wasn't it? Yeah, Yusuf was very close to it. Stopilla Sun Tzu. I think that's his name, is it? No, I don't think, I don't think Stopola Sunzu plays for Zambia. Oh, is that a different person entirely? It is, it is. Um, not quite sure who that guy is, but there's Al Huda. Cut out there, Will. For a throw in. And let's, let's see if Comoros can get themselves back into this game. They started very shakily. Well, they've not conceded a goal, so they won't be worried too much about the shakiness. And Samhani can't get himself through, but it falls to Ibu Roy, who hits it, and Vagina. Yep, solid save there, held on to it well. It's a good save, isn't it, really, by the, the Cape Verde man? That's a good pass really. forward. Junior Tavares there. Oh, well. a whistle, but I don't, it's a free I don't kick, think I think. Anyone was, I'm going to say, it didn't look like an offside to me. Is he Louis just going to get cladded get here? Get cladded here, yeah. Yeah, well, that's a soft one. Yeah, that's that a, is that a, soft is a soft one, one really. From a sign of that, I don't think he goes in with any sort of malice. But you never really know what the ref's going to be thinking as it goes to Montero. Stop either. Oh, and he's turned him, Gary Rodriguez. There with you go. The and he finishes with a plum. It's been coming, hasn't it, that goal? Oh, it certainly has. They've been on top the whole game. The crossbar twice and now hit the back of the net. And you can see Rodriguez just turns there. What a finish this is, by the way. Pick that one out, goalkeeper. And that is not what Comoros needed, nor what they wanted. And it sends Comoros home as things are standing. It does. South Sudanese fans will be absolutely ecstatic. They will be. And I'll tell you what, that would have been... Um, I mean, what an emphatic finish that is. And is that not Gary Rodriguez's first of this tournament? A player I'm expecting to well and truly light things up in this in this um, in this tournament and he has done in this fixture and here you go now and what's going to happen is they've all been played through Selmani it's a good save it and needed a good save away. and Sule and they can't seem to get the shot away and they finally look like they get it but now Danielson is breaking the Brazilian. Oh, that's a great tackle that's there. A, that's a good tackle from Al Hador. Montero. Okay, Birdie had a long distance to get to Mauritius, being from, from the west coast of Africa, oh. and that's cut out. But, well, Ali Ahamada manages to dive on it. And there he is, launching it there. Yep, Cape okay, Birdie almost had as long a travel as us, getting to the island of Mauritius. They did. Did indeed. They're certainly not in a favourable position in Africa, and that's a that's a shady that's one. That's a mistake there, in. and that's a goal for Comoros. And it's Yusuf who's got it. He's got a few Yusuf. I think that's his third. He's just been. He's just hounded him, hasn't he? This ball's been played through. It's not a great ball. He's not on the pace, and Danielson there just turned it, and and he's just slid it in. And that's just his hard work there. Yep. Not giving up. Poaching that goal. Yeah, it's certainly not a special goal. That ball there is poor. If you ask me, it's not. He's never getting there. Danielson beats him easily, and Danielson tries a bit too much, and not maybe not expecting Yusuf to have carried on his I own. I don't think he was expecting Yusuf to be there, and that's a nice little celebration. Acrobatic. Although we did see a man die doing a celebration like that before, so you have to be you have to be careful. These players. Uh, Shola Amiobi. I think twist his ankle or something. Uh, I think he probably did. And Laman Lualua famously. Oh, that was injured. the one then. Yeah. Um, when Harry Redknapp famously said, "Whatever you do, don't get injured," because we only have one striker. And what he did, he proceeded to get himself injured. And a great ball there this time. 
And it's, it's in. Again. And they've turned this one around. They have. And that was what they wanted to do the first time, I think. And that, look at his smile there. This is a man who is confident. This ball here is sublime. And he peels off Danielson. It's Danielson again in Great the wrong touch. position. And he brings it down and side foots it. Keepers unlucky there. Beautiful goal, though. And you can see Danielson comes to the ball. Outside of the boot. And Selmani, what Pretty. a ball that is. And there's the touch. And Keepers, unfortunately, like, he's, he's come out there. He's had a good game for Xenia. Well, that's his fourth is, is for, uh, for Yusuf. Fourth in the tournament. And he certainly spiced things up in this game. Certainly got his old El Paso mix all over this game now. Both teams going through as it stands, though. So South Sudan now shaking in their boots. I can't see this being it, though. I can't see... Certainly not. Cape Verde lying down with a whimper here. Certainly not when they really shouldn't be behind, but again, there's a mistake, and Yusuf has it again. And I don't think anyone knows what was going on there. The Commonwealth players certainly living up to the Af African crap standard. Oh, that's cut out well by Asana. And then Asana just does Gives that. it straight away back to Gary Rodriguez, the goal scorer. And Rodriguez hits that one. He hits it straight, and you can see what he's trying to do there. He's trying to kind of drive that one like a Roberto Carlos-like strike. But he just doesn't quite get his foot all the way through it. And he just ends up lifting. You yeah. See, he just lifts it with his toes, Gets doesn't he? Gets under it, doesn't he? He certainly does, but he certainly looked... Look at like that, 92 metres, Gary Rodriguez, compared to the nearest player on 19. He's done really well, Rodriguez, and that was a bad goal kick, which has enabled Tavares! Oh, just wide. And I thought that was in there. The camera angle certainly deceived me. Well won, that header by uh, oh, was it Z Louis lovely little flick by Z Louis back I don't know who the guy who won the header was I think it was the it might have been Nuno Rocha the man who got a race before and Shaquille O'Neal there not happy <laughs> with the fact that he's put that one wide and Comoros side maybe wondering what they're going to do from these goal kicks because that one certainly didn't go well this one a little bit better Clinton Matter. no relation to Juan and Faiz Slamani Oh, oh that was nearly a third there. And he battled his way through, didn't he? The woodwork's taking a beating this day. And that he just ends up with it, and then he just runs directly into the crowd of people. But he does get his shot away in the end. He's got a couple of goals, hasn't he, Salmani, he does, in this tournament? Yeah. A couple of goals, indeed. Comoros have looked a little bit better than I was expecting them to in this game. They certainly looked like they're up for the fight. Gary Rodriguez has also plays up for the fight, still dribbling with it, but well won that time. Al Hador, Faiz Salmani now. And there goes to Ibu Roy. And Ibu Roy stopped there by Stopperira. Oh, that's an awful challenge. Yeah, referee's going to get a card out of Going straight to the back of him there. He's completely mistimed that there, the number 13. Not quite sure of his name right now. Jimmy Abdu's going over saying, what about the earlier one? What earlier one, the referee's saying? That was shocking. See Louis as well. Oh, he's well gone, isn't he? He's in a different post hole by the time he goes in there. And he's looking at him, protesting as if he's done nothing wrong. He's got nowhere near the ball, so... Well, that's just modern football, isn't it? It's shocking, that there. What a oh, cool challenge. This ball gets pinged in. Oh, my word, and that there could have been a goal to save her for us here. And that's, he's going to be well offside there. <laughs> yeah, he knew it. He did know it as well, did Tavares. <laughs> I, think quite, I think we need quite a line there. Outside. He did turn back, but he was trying to play fair, wasn't he? Let the Commonwealth's defence catch up. Almost. Almost at half time now. Al Hador comes in. Ibu Roy. And Yusuf straight into the hands of Vazinha. He's going for his hat trick, isn't he? He is. And that was a shocker from Ibu Roy. I hope that wasn't. No, that just didn't hit anybody. That was just a really poorly hit effort from Ibu Roy. Tavares looks like a really good forward, Tavares, if you ask me. Just a big. A big man in the middle, winning everything. But that half hasn't gone to plan, has it? Certainly not for Cape Verde. But for Comoros, 
they will see themselves through, as will Cape Verde as well. Yep, Cape Verde won't be too worried as they are going through as things stand still. And they have looked like they're in this game. It's not like they're just getting beaten easily. It's um, it's 2-1. They've been good. They've had enough chances. Um, I think things are certainly going to change in this second half. Yep, things are certainly going to change indeed as the... Well, look at that left-hand side of Cape Verde. 2%. And the right, yeah. Clinton Matter, I think, got the ball once. I don't think he was very good with it either, but more shots for Comoros, um, which we were expecting, really. They're the team that need to win this game. Um, but Cape Verde, for me, still the better team in this game. Yep, should we get it underway? We should, yeah. We'll get it, get it back underway because it's been a cracker so far. There we go. So it's 2-1 here, beginning of the second half. To play for here. It certainly is. Although both teams will be happy with this result, as they are both going through. They will be, but I think Cape Verde will want to make sure that they don't lose the game. Because if they do lose it, or, or what can happen... Well, that makes they, them face... When they settle... Mauritius, is it? In the uh, uh, Yeah, it will be round. Mauritius. But when they settle as well, what will happen is obviously... Um, and then Comoros might score a, yeah. a third. Can you hit that one there? Ali Almada. Chazela Wynn. Here's Babanko. Babanko, who we know is not a bad player. He's won the ball there, though, hasn't he? Yeah, clean tackle there. <laughs> Montero. You can't get past the Sana. And the referee gets well, involved there. He did get in the way there. Oh, what that was all about, and referee's blown it the other way. I think that was offside there. Yep. Gary Rodriguez, yeah. I don't know why he's gone that way. Montero was wide open on the other side. And then Tavares is complaining. He's not had the best game, Tavares. He does win most things, but he hasn't really done anything with the ball when he's had it. It's a big header there. You see the way he finds himself a fan of the ball. Like that. The fans love that header. Well won there, and here is the man, Gary, Gary. Rodriguez. What's he going to do now? Still runs at the defence. Gary Rodriguez trying to get through. Can he win it back? No, he can't. And it's sent away. Abdallah. Asana. Asana's captained this game quite well here. Abdallah, Abdallah down Abdallah the right. again. The man who put that awful challenge in earlier. Still going, Abdallah. He's going. And, and he, he's hit he's, that one. I was almost about to say he's going, he's going, and he's gone. But that wouldn't make any sense. No, he's, I mean, the only place he's gone there is completely wide of the target. Yeah. I mean, that's a great turn there, and he's left them standing, and he's just lashed that ball. That's why I play right back. Because he doesn't know how to finish. No disrespect to right backs that do know how to finish. But Abdallah... Certainly isn't one. He's not one of those players, no. Danielson. And there it is. Gary Jarring. Is again. Change of camera angle there. Gary Rodriguez still going is Gary Rodriguez crosses that one in great header oh it's just over the bar though from Rocha gets himself in those positions though Rocha doesn't he he does and he's done well there to win the header and Tavares there getting in the box Tavares that's where you need to be Rodriguez isn't passing that there not after he's just run for about 40 yards he's not simply passing that one to Tavares who's in the same position as he is Al Akramada and that one's gone very high in the sky and the blue, right? it's just went straight it's to the one. Cape Verde thought it is Gary Rodriguez Julio Tavares oh he's turned his man he's open great save it is a good save there from McMahda and that's going to go straight to a Cape Verde player and he's Z-Louis he's just Z-Louis easily isn't he oh. oh no it's a free kick there. I didn't hear the whistle there I didn't hear it either and B Babanko is going to take the free kick here. And Babanko. Why right do we close. step it there? You can see what he's trying to do there, but. Creulos. And execute it. Creulos must be the Cape Verde team. It will be. Certainly a nickname yeah, to blue, forget. The Blue Sharks, aren't they, as well, I think. Fortes. 
tried to go to Babanko, but didn't really need to. The winger should have got involved, and there he is. Ibuiroi's gone round. And Ibuiroi dancing with it. Can you get a ball in? Just wins a corner. corner. Corner Ross. Attack in their native language. Or French or whatever it is. And Jimmy Abdu, the captain, the former Millwall man. Puts it in. And the man he didn't want it to fall to now, Gary Rodriguez. With support. Gary Rodriguez. Oh, and that's the worst decision you could have made to go to Zaylaway. Vozinha. Babanko. Babanko gets wiped out there after the pass is made, but referee fans not happy with it. Play. And Zaylaway gets clad at that time and as well. That's, that's, that's a shocking kick. challenge there from the number six, Asana. Gets the captain there. A booking. And he should have settled that one down there, really, shouldn't he? No reason for him to go in like that. Brave stuff there from Zaylaway not to roll around and cry like a child. No, he got straight back up, didn't he? He was ready to go again. Babanko here with a... Well, a long, long effort here. I'm not sure that he has the leg for it. And he doesn't, just plays it short of Fodders. And he's hit that one. He certainly did hit it, and now here's Clinton Matta, 38 years old, but still goes up and down that wing all day. He's doing well there, has Clinton. He's still doing well, is Clinton. <laughs> yep. The Boo Roy loses out there. Ferreira, one of the centre halves, though. And they are absolutely flying in here, Commerce. They don't need to do well, that. That's a red. has already been in the book once. And Iburoi is saying, don't do anything, that's but he's it. gone. That's the captain. That's your centre-half. Gone. And what a silly thing for him to do when they're leading this tie. All they needed to do was see it out. And that's a centre-back that he's got it there. What's Ferreira really going to do in that situation for the yards out? Yep. That's what a strange a one. Stupid bit of play there. But also a stupid bit of play by Anton Nielsen, and actually they could capitalise on it instantly. And here's a boo Roy. He's and finished he has it. Scored. Well, were you expecting that after the red card? Well, I'll tell you what, I was there criticising Asana for what he did. And that could be sending Cape Verde out. Well, he... They've got the two goal margin. <laughs> The red card leads. And, and Danielson again. That's the second, the third mistake. He's been at fault for all three of the goals there, Danielson. Oh, I see the swerve on that there. And Ibuiro, he's just he hasn't bothered with the chip. He hasn't tried to be a Zaylawi. Great to win it back though. Great hustle. And I don't know why Danielson's done that. And you can hear the fans hissing now. They're furious here. Watch the swerve here. That's going wide, wide in. There you go. Pick that one out, lad. Go on, go and get it out. Get this game back underway. Cape Verde need a goal they need a goal fast the wet weather is uh, conducive to knee slides it is whereas the dry harsh turf that we're used to isn't quite as nice yep. too hard for your knees is it a knee slide it certainly is and I certainly wouldn't want to do it on astro turf mm. it's either way you don't really know okay. what he wants to do with it okay, but you do have a chance here to score one as they are a man up Oh, and it's oh, off the, the post. Right. And Rocha. Four days wins it back though in a dangerous area and then gives it away. And then wins it back. And then Gary Rodriguez loses out. And they don't have a clue what's going on there, do they? And now here, it is again Clinton Matter to Iburoy, won by Varela. Varela's done very well there. Rocha. Montero finds Gary Rodriguez. It's a great save! And Gary Rodriguez there had the opportunity. Oh, he's just been shoved in the. He's just been shoved to the death. He's just absolutely pushed him and the referee's done the referee, nothing. The referee said, no, that's fine. And Keith Verdi will be absolutely furious. Nine minutes left that of this. That was unbelievable. And this is chaos here for Tez again. This seems to be the way it's going now. It's almost like rugby the way they're going forward with it. And Montero gets it around the corner. Gary Rodriguez on the right wing. Chip one in. Tez again! They're still in this tournament. <laughs> well, they want to get this one away as quickly as possible, Cape Verde. And now Cape Verde. Cape Verde is surviving, but Comoros 
And now just one goal from elimination. South Sudanese fans willing on Cape Verde now. And that's a slip there from the defender. Gary Rodriguez, plenty of time. Picks out his man, Tavares. Lovely little header. Glancing. But now this game is going to be into five minutes of absolute scenes here. 3-2 the scoreline. Lovely chip. And Gary Rodriguez, what a game he's had. He has and It would be a real shame to see them get out, go out of the tournament right now, Definitely. but I don't think it's going to happen. I think they'll survive, but our Comoros going to survive because a goal here for Cape Verde changes the outlook of this group, but also a goal here for Comoros also changes the outlook of this group, and Iburoy's hit it. Vozinha. And he's thrown it straight back away. Looks like Babanko will get there first, though, and Babanko will clean get up. there first this time. But he's gone straight to Abdallah. Hardly cleaned up there. And Abdallah still has it. And Gary Rodriguez can't do anything, but now here you go. And this is what South Sudan want to see. They want to see the blue shirts marauding forward. And they do with Fortes. No, no, Roger. Roger. And Fortes. Fortes in behind. And it's a great save. Needed that save there for Comoros. They certainly needed that save, and Fortes there doesn't quite get it, but he just continues his run, and he's in acres, and it's you can see where he's trying to go. He's trying to go near post there. Well, it's, it's it's a routine save, but it's huge in terms of keeping Comoros in it. Wow, his lips are massive. His face is a bit deformed there, isn't yeah. it, Amada? He's obviously been taking a few balls to the face. He has, obviously. He's been serving him well so far as well, because Tavares. It's a goal! I thought he'd sent them. I thought he'd sent Comoros home. We both did. What a deceiving camera angle that is. Oh, he's a whisker. It was so close. He's a whisker away. Well, that was With like... Two minutes left. Raheem Sterling against Italy. It was. We, they had us beat. And there it is. This could be it now. This is going to be one last opportunity. Fortes. It's a poor one. Say Louis Tavares. Tavares. Gary Rodriguez is offside. Oh, he's offside. It doesn't matter for Comoros. I'm um, sorry for Cape Verde. They're well, going to go through and it doesn't look that offside there to me. It was the uh, slide tackle that ended up playing him offside. He doesn't look, and that's going to be it. South Sudan absolutely devastated. Although, is the ref going to blow it? And surely not now. Well, we've seen stranger things happen. And here's Zilui. Of Zilui. all the men to do it. Zilui! And it's saved. saved. Oh. And it's well into the extra time now. And there it is. It's over. And they've done it. Comoros have got themselves through. They've topped the group. In a group where we were certain Cape Verde would be advancing. One of the best games of the tournament, that one. And Zilui had the opportunity there. He would have been a hero in South Sudan and... Confirmation there, Comoros and Cape Verde will both go through and South Sudan and Sudan, both Sudanese nations, go home. And that wow. is a real shame. And we started the game really well, didn't we? Look at Tavares hitting the crossbar. I believe that's the second time the crossbar's been hit because Zilui hit it. And Zilui hit it early on, yeah. Um, and then you, had, you have Yusuf here. Does he have an effort? He certainly does. It's not the best effort. It's, it's deflected, actually. Um, and it's, it's collected back up. And then Gary Rodriguez gets a, a goal here. Stapira plays it in, Gary Rodriguez, and that is finished with absolute emphasis as he just fires that one into the top corner. And what a game he had, Gary Rodriguez, can I just oh, say? Yeah. Probably man of the match, actually. I'd assume, I'd assume as much, but we'll see what the sponsors say. Um, but he turns him there as if he's not even there, doesn't he? Bang. Here's an interesting Here's stat the top corner. about this Group B. Comoros have scored 10 and conceded 10. And they lead the group. They do. They, they got battered. By um, what's their name? South, South Sudan, Sudan in the yep. first game, didn't they? Four two in that one. And then they had that absolute cracker against Sudan, where they won five four. Can't get Comoros five four against Sudan. And then they've just won this one three two. Yep, and there's that shot. Just love goals, don't they? They love goals. It doesn't matter if they're conceding or scoring <laughs> them. They love to see the ball in the net. Yusuf there. That's a mistake from Danielson. And look at Danielson again. Here he is. Pulls away. Danielson goes to that tackle, and then he just reads it. And that goal there is fa a fantastic, fantastic goal. Fantastic. I'd like to see that. That might even be, for me, one of the better goals of the tournament, if I'm totally honest. Not not in terms of screamer, but in terms of the pass That's through. Great technique. And then Sel Selamani. This could be in the game, this. This could have been it over. I have to before half time. So close. Fai Selamani. 
stinks it off the upright. Then Julio Tavares, who for me didn't have a bad a bad game, but he could have had more, couldn't he? We thought he'd we yeah. thought he'd knocked Comoros out laid on. Then I this didn't. for me was that was stupid. That there's no re need, need to make that tackle. And then you, I'm kicking off at this point. I'm still in my rant about this red card, which I think is fair enough because I don't think he should have been Diving making in. that sort of mistake. And then as I'm moaning, this happens. Danielson again plays it straight to Abu Roy. Vizinho comes steaming out. 3-1. And it's looking like Cape Verde could be going out. They need a goal. But, you know, Comoros are down to 10 men. What an absolutely shocking pass. Didn't even put any fizz on it, did he? No, not enough. And you know you're not going to catch a boo Roy. And there's nothing busy you can do at that point. That's going in. And then they start to improve. So Nuno Rocha has a nice little run and hits the post. And you're thinking maybe Cape Verde can get back in it. But they leave it a little bit late, don't they, I think, to, to come back and get that 77 minutes in. Uncomfortably late, I'd say. And then Gary Rodriguez has an effort, which is is not far away. Saved by the goalkeeper. One of the one of a handful of fantastic saves he makes. <laughs> not fantastic in terms of being fantastic, but fantastic in terms of impact. And then this is the uh, the goal, and it's an easy goal that one. And then we thought they'd equalise, didn't we? We did think they'd equalise. I hope we, I hope we get that highlight because I'll tell you what, that that'll be some scenes when we watch it. And, and this is it, isn't it? I think this. this well, oh, there's, there's no, three no. chances, isn't there? There's the Fortes one, which leads to the corner, and that's a fine save from the goalkeeper. And Fortes furious because he knows he should have won that. I think that's going wide anyway, Just isn't it? Maybe the post. And then I think this is. No, no but we, we, don't we don't get that one. But then this happens in the ninety-second minute. Zeal Z- Z- we holding them off, and just straight at the keeper. And he'll need to pick up his performances, won't he, if he's going to feature much more in this tournament. Yep. Do you think Zee Louis had a, a good enough game to keep him in the... Um, we're back live we're back, back live now, yeah. Sorry. Um, I think I think he did, actually. I think he did well. I think what he brings to the table is... is more than goals. Um, yeah, he certainly does bring a little bit more than goals. Because you see, Tavares, for me, is the more prolific of the two up front. But Zee Louis got good link-up play and he did have good strength. Won a couple of key free kicks. And when you've got someone like Babanko taking those free kicks, that could be a game-changer for um, Cape Verde but I think it'll be interesting to see we might see him start maybe see him come off at half time if he doesn't perform but you know you're looking at that lad thinking he's going to be the top scorer of the tournament before this game yeah. before balls. so many chances yeah. and he should have had four goals in his first game 17 shots there for Cape Verde unbelievable really they did but Comoros had 14 yeah. as well and then it ends 7-7 in terms of shots on target so really even game to be totally honest with you and then you know it's um, Yusuf ends up with man of the match with he his does, two goals yeah. but Gary Rodriguez, the best player, along with Tavares on the Comoros, uh, Cape sorry, Cape Verde yeah. team. Um, Gary Rodriguez all day for me. Gary I like Rodriguez all day. Comoros did win the game and Yusuf did score. So Yeah, Yusuf did have a good game. I think his hard work makes a big difference because what he's done is he's actually hounded the defenders and he's ended up with a, a great great couple of opportunities. But you see it evens out in that second half there. Yeah, and, but uh, still both teams liking to go through the middle a little bit more. There's been a trend in this tournament, I think, quite down the middle. I think they just like to attack, don't they? get it to the goal as quick as they can yeah and tomorrow we have I don't know if uh, our regular host will be back or not but we've got Group C football for you and we've got Sao Tome playing Congo and East Routini playing Togo so they're both good ones Some there good games then Togo won six points so they're likely through anyway but you never know with East Routini Sao Tome look good though as well don't they Sao Tome do look good and, and Congo have I've scored three and conceded eight, so they don't look very good. No, Congo, Congo. Like they could be going out of the tournament. Congo, Brazil. Um, it's been a cracking day here of football in the African Cup of Nations. Mauritius under severe downpours today, but that won't stop the football. It's been absolutely cracking. Thank you for having me again, Jack. It's been an absolute fantastic tournament so far. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, all the viewers, on BBC, where we will be rounding off Group C before... Well, you know, next week it'll be knockout football and that's sure to shake things up. If we see games that we've seen all tournament, that will be absolutely fantastic. Anything could happen. Anything can happen. We didn't expect to see this result, did we? Certainly not, no. But Comoros and Cape Verde, it's not a goodbye from them. It's a see you soon. And we certainly will see you soon. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.